Hi, I'm Ellie from Good and Gypsy. We have a very special vid today. <laughs> We're going to be showing you the Grampians, one of my favourite places in Australia. The Grampians is known as Gary Word to the First Peoples of Australia and I would like to acknowledge them as being here first. We both would. <laughs> yes, we both would. Now, we're going to show you some awesome places and some really cool campgrounds. So without further ado, let's get out there into the green. Yes, we're going to look at the Mackenzie Falls thing. Look at here, see Mackenzie Falls. Can't wait. Can't wait, I love Mackenzie Falls. Now Mackenzie Falls is one of the best falls in all of Victoria in my opinion. And it's been raining and pissing, uh, just, just raining, it hasn't been doing anything else. Just raining and all night and everything's wet. So hopefully it's, it's raging. Hey Ellie, hopefully it's just raging. I like raging things. We had one hell of a storm last night. Mm. Our tent was alright. <laughs> yep, it should be beautiful. Everyone else's tents weren't alright. Mm. You get what you pay for. Kmart might be great for a lot of things, but tents, not, not so much. Here's the uh, car park. Oh, I remember this, yes. Mm -hmm. Which way is it to the falls, do you remember? Down here. Down here? Okay. Well, we have to park down here. But yeah. see, walks. McKinsey Falls walks. McKinsey Falls walks. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Um, uh, certain things out there when you when you're in the green and you're enjoying, and, and I don't mean the 420 green. I mean in the the leaves and, and the trees and certain certain places are nice and hopefully this video will do some justice to it but this place really is one of my favorite spots in the country the falls are magnificent so we don't know what they're gonna look like we haven't seen them for about a year but truly it's one of our favorite places so I'll be still doing the camera so I'll take that <laughs> Kombucha. Kombucha. One of the best products. Might still need our green jackets. 
Oh, I just leave them on. Also fish falls, which is one of my favorites as well. You can actually go under the falls and swim in the falls. It's so great. It's definitely worth a look. Come to Mackenzie Falls. Definitely take the hike further on to fish falls. It's so great. So let's go on to Mackenzie Falls. Take your rubbish home. Mm. I should hope you take me home. <laughs> now, this Dad walk, joke. now this walk's a bit hard. Um, the, the stairs are quite steep. So if you're a bit infirm, this walk might not be for you. But for parents and children, definitely okay. What are you doing? <laughs> you caught me putting my lip balm on. I'm not posh enough for lipstick. <laughs> so we're here at the Wonderland car park. As you can see, this leads to the Pinnacle Hike. It's not the only hike here. There's Turret Falls, Splitter Falls, and there's the Grand Canyon Loop. So I've only been to the Pinnacle here, but I'd love to see the other falls here. So let's go check it out.
Check out these rocks. Aren't they awesome? Not the American Grand Canyon, but it is awesome. They're stark behind it. Help. So these are the steps to the pinnacle had to show them to you. Let's run up them. <laughs> and the cameraman. This is bush. I need to up for this. Somebody <laughs> tell the bosses. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Wow, we made it. Keep pushing. Keep it going. So that <laughs> Do that work. Can't hurt me. Can't hurt me. Have you hurt me. hurt me. You hurt me. I'm hurt. <laughs> That's you. enough for me. Oh. Getting too off of this. <laughs> Check out the view. Oh. Worth it for the Whoa. view. <sighs> yeah, you need to be reasonably fit to come up here. But if you're not, just take it slow. Come on, guys. Let's keep going. Check this out, guys. Isn't this amazing? It's a medium to difficult walk, but it's so worth it. The walk to the pinnacle is amazing. This is for cheats, but it's better than going through the bush and damaging it. <sighs> Nothing wrong with taking a rest. Nothing at all. <laughs> Besides, when you take the rest, you can also take in the view. Take in whatever you see in front of you. Awesome. Check out these rock ledges. Aren't they awesome? Whoa. I remember coming through here the first time and just feeling the age of the rock towering over me. They're just so immense. Oh look, they even call it the cool chamber. Oh, this is cool. Feel the temperature difference. Yeah, it's something else. You could live under here. Make some bedding at the back. <laughs> Fireplace. Look, there's even a little chair to chill out on. Dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Let's keep going. This is definitely leg day workout done. <laughs> Thank you.
Come right up, cunt. Grab me. Give me the bottle. Two liters wasn't enough. So we're finally here at the Pinnacle. Do you want to come have a look? This can. Oh. <laughs> I trust in the two dollar suit to hold the thousand dollar phone. <laughs> That's um, the lake we checked out. Yeah, Belfield. <laughs> oh gosh. It's beautiful. Or is that Lake Belfield? <laughs> no, no, no. There's holes we can't see. Amazing, but definitely vertigo, <laughs> definitely a bit scary. Worth the trick? Yes, most definitely. The view is unforgettable. Okay, so I'm gonna switch this off. A lot less wind than there was last time. Last time felt like you were gonna get blown off. Than 2.2 k's. I think the incline. Yeah. Well, look at look at this around us. Yeah, in front of us, behind us. The cliffs are amazing. You so have to come check it out. Okay. It's my one of my favourite spots. Mm. It's worth it. <laughs> Just don't get blown off by the wind. <laughs> We're gonna go see stuff for ourselves, no more video. There goes my awesome hair. Aren't you gonna say you look scary or something? We're here at Baroka Lookout. As you can see, we have lovely weather today, but it is awesome weather for the next place we're visiting, which is Mackenzie Falls. So it should be flowing beautifully. But as you can see, this is an awesome rainforest. So it just adds such a beautiful aspect to the, uh, the surrounding so let's go check it out <laughs> actually it would be really cool to go sit on that rock check it out imagine we're sitting on that rock no that's not in our hns What's H&S? O-H&S. O-H&S. Occupational Health and Safety. <laughs> no way. Mm, check it out. Does it give you vertigo? What? 
Okay, for once not getting a bit of vertigo, so that's really cool. Must be getting over the fear of heights. But yeah, awesome view of, you can see the, um, I think it's the dam that we went to before. What's the name of the Belfield. dam? Belfield Dam. And I don't know, what's the, the, the is that, is that Hall's Gap? Yeah, that's Hall's Gap down there. Yeah? Hall's Gap, you can see Hall's Gap. Oh yeah, because that's that, that big um, crag that we always see when we're driving in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Mount um, Difficult. Mount Difficult and Mount Zero. Mount yeah. Zero. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, let's go check out the other one. What other lookout? Yeah, this the other one. Oh, he's there? Yeah. I love the, I love the trees. Um, it looks so cool in the rain. Like, with all the, um, the rain, real rainforest. We'll just extend the window, cat, the feeding window. Feeding window? Yeah, that's what they call it. I know, but it's just so funny. Like we're vampires. <laughs> yeah, it was this intermittent fasting, so we've, we've got a few things to do, but we'll go to the other one. We'll go to 1 till 4, 1 till 4.30. So I'll eat for a bit longer. That's, that'll solve everything. Maybe get a chocolate bar, some treat, share it. Check it that. Check out that. Yeah, I got it. The, um, can you see the um the, the mist off it? The mist and the but can you see the rocks? Yeah. The way the um So plantation campground is where behind that mountain? It must be. It must be further up. That's probably behind that rocky mountain. Okay guys, so this has been Veroka Lookout. As you can see, it's definitely a cool spot to check out. Definitely one of the spots that you should come check out. What? Um. I know I said don't get caught out in the rain, but sometimes it's worth it. So, come check it out. <laughs> Australia's a bad driver, can't get out of the car park. Fields 100 cars. Motherfucker! I wish they would actually fix their roads, mate. If they want a donation, there's a donation. Fix your fucking roads. Belfield Reservoir. Pro tip, don't wear sunglasses. How is this a picnic area? There's nothing here. Huh. But it's not, it's not, you want to go out and have a look? Most definitely. Look at that view. Yeah, the picnic area is further up. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So we can How go there. Because I know. I looked at the map. I, I was going that way and then I saw this. I thought I wanted to check it out. Do you want to get out and have a look? Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Just go, to go and film it. I'll wait for you. Continuous? Continuous is the only way. Oh yeah, see there's the block of toilets. Yeah. Actually, stay in. Stay in. Okay. Stay in. Look at block those of mountains. In a block of toilets up there. It's a bad view. It was a very pretty one up there. I miss those block of toilets there. Don't use sunglasses in dark forest. You can't see the potholes. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Why am I indicating in the bush? Because there are still people in um, four wheel drives oh, look, to watch out for. Look what we've got here. Hey? Yeah, there's um, fire pits. No camping, no, but you can do a fire pit. Warning, Thanks. camping around Lake Shell strictly for, bo for prohibited offenders will be prosecuted. Penalty, $2,000. Yes. You can't go in there, mate. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. The government said so. We passed a rule. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. So there's lovely little picnic tables. Lovely lake shore. Do you want to go and do a walk around? There's actually bins for one. I suppose it's not a campground. There's toilets. And the most beautiful view. There's not to swim. There's a sign here that says why you can't swim. Let's find out why. swim only in certain areas That's interesting. Swimming is not advised due to extremely cold temperatures and dangerous variations in the water depth of the lake. So look at this. Isn't this perfect for an afternoon, afternoon picnic? And look at that view. Those mountains, don't you just love the rock faces on them? That's swimming Victoria for you. Can't swim too far from the shore because of extremely cold temperatures. Makes sense, I guess. But, gosh, such a beautiful place.
Okay guys, we're here at Silver Band Pole. Let's go check it out. Oh, fairy wrens. I love fairy wrens. They're so cute. It's a bit of an incline. Yeah, it's good. I declined to comment because I'm inclined mm -hmm. to sit down and have a drink of water. Mm. Cat hair. Yeah, so this is the walk to Silver Bend, isn't it? Yeah, Silver Bend Falls. I don't remember that one. There's some other falls around here we're going to see as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Silver Bend's a nice little falls. It's a good short walk. But it's a nice, peaceful walk. Very peaceful. It's good to do for a couple. It's nice. <laughs> There's seats along the way. Like, we may not, not use this, obviously. This yeah. is just to get used to the camera rolling on us. I believe it's a, it's a, it's a natural... There's a natural thing to it if you can get used to it where it switches on and it's not there. Mm -hmm. You can have conversations. I tried, I didn't zoom it in. Mm. How are you feeling? How hungry are you? I'm not. Intermittent fasting's a bomb. I'm gonna go for it. But I'm nearly there for birds. I'm thinking we do. Just tell yourself you're not hungry. Yeah, you're not hungry. Not hungry. We've still gotta do Lake Belleville. Lake Belfield and there's Baroka Lookout, we'll do those two. I think we should just do Mackenzie Falls and not the Fish Falls. No, oh, I really want to do Fish Falls. Well, we do Mackenzie. One day when it's on, so we can, we can wear my bikini and go for a You want it in the shower. shot? Yeah. Um, I, so I remember it being was. a very long walk. Yep, it was. Well, it was awesome. What we'd, do, what we'd have to do is do the Mackenzie Falls. Look, honestly, I don't think you remember it very well. You know? Hello. G'day. Hi. It was a long walk to get to Mackenzie Falls. It was like down that incline and the decline. It's very hard. And then, the only way I will do Fish Falls is if we take Manja. Take Manja there. And, yeah. Like hike it. Do we eat there? It'd be awesome. Um, in order to eat there, we would need to have something that doesn't necessarily mean refrigeration, which we don't have. But it wouldn't go bad right now, would it? Sausages. Sausages. And um, pre-make the salad mm -hmm. into the Tupperware. And then put it all into the wild bag. Mm -hmm. 
some water. Um, but we have to do that on a day of itself. So basically we get there at about 3.30. It's a separate point of view. It's not you don't do, do like it's gonna be six points of view. Not five. What do you guys think? So don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're just looking at my tits. Because <laughs> <laughs> he has very soft tits. I ain't arguing with her. Don't argue with women. You lose even when you win. Now, let's keep going. Yes. Yeah. Dun dun dun. that they usually would be um, running a lot better than this. So this is Silver Bend Falls, guys. We've walked nearly a K to get here. not disappointing at all. <laughs> uh, now I know I didn't remember it. What? It's not memorable, but it's a good walk and a beautiful rock. Yeah, it's a lovely little walk. So this is Silver Bend Falls, guys. It's small, but it's worth a look. The walk is lovely and peaceful. Beautiful trees, beautiful birds. And beautiful Victoria. Hey guys, so we're here at the Plantation Campground. It's one of our favourites that we stay at when we're in the area. I'd love to show you some more in the campground, so let's give it a whirl. So here we are. Plantation campground. It's a great campground. It's got room for everything. Literally uh, room for caravans, room for tents. As you can see here, we've got a great mix of people. Um, this is the room for caravans and vans. And as you can see, rooftop tents as well. Here's the drop toilet and outdoor shower. You don't usually see them in campgrounds. And oh, we can see the, um, the ranges around, I think. No. So many travelers. Just it's travelers. great to see. Very young crowd. Yes. It's a cool crowd. Yes. Um, we we stay here normally um, out of the campgrounds. And last night it was a party atmosphere. There's a lot of young people, beautiful people. There's a few old people, but many young people. No one too ridiculous, no one too drunk a little bit, but that's all right. It's to be expected. There you go. Hey, buddy. It's busy. Very busy. Beautiful, I love it. It's a good vibe. There's all sorts of campgrounds around the country, eh, Ellie? Yeah, there's campgrounds A, B, 
C, D, E, and I think. This is it, drop, drop to it. F and G. And that's a shower. Get the shower. Yeah, the shower's great. I've seen quite a few backpackers using it. You can see our campground there in the background. Yeah, we'll see another look. Campground zone A for all the caravans and vans. There's some rooftop tents over there. And you can have fires here when there isn't a total fire ban. And this is one way, mate. <laughs> right. It's all good as long as you're going slowly, really. That's a helipad zone yeah, for emergencies. Cool you, yeah. you can see people have even slung... Um, uh, Shade. No, I think they're actually doing hammocks in between the trees. Yeah, they are. That's really cool. That's awesome, hammock camping. How cool is that? Here's another one. How many Motorcyclists do you think this camping. How many think this thing, think this would account for? How many people? Yeah. Oh, Camp I Grandy. think there's. There's Camp Grandy. I think there's definitely more than a hundred, maybe even more than two hundred. Maybe two hundred. Maybe two hundred. That's oh, is there really another good. Drop, drop yeah, toilet there's another here. drop toilet here at the back. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I went here because the toilet paper left. And some some drunken lout had <laughs> pulled all the toilet paper out for a laugh and just threw it everywhere. So <laughs> it's a bit and annoying. There's another shower, I think, too. Yeah, there's a shower there, I think, too. Yeah. yeah. They ba basically just um, showers. You bring your shower into it, or you can just bottle shower. No, there's um, actually a bucket. There's a bucket that you hoist up. And, um, oh, I haven't used it. I haven't used it. You so this on. is our so campground. You, so you fill the bucket this up. This is our campground, water. perfected over yeah. a year. Yes. The touring tent. Our lovely amazing. touring tent. We don't have any solar out because we've taken it with us. And, and that's yes. It. Always secure your campground when you leave. You never know when a huge storm will hit while you're out. Okay. Check out the. Um... Never know when a thief will hit too. So just keep <laughs> seriously. Don't leave stuff out in the open. They'll just think it's somebody else's that's left it and taken. It. Check out the rooftop tents. Yeah, they're, great. they're awesome. So this has been the plantation campground. It's definitely one of my favourites. You get to see so much wildlife here. They literally come and eat your garbage at night if you leave it out. So don't do that. Um, yeah, kookaburras, rosellas, um, eagles. No, not eagles. Hawks. <laughs> Hawks. Um, some grey cockatoos, uh, wallabies, c kangaroos, joeys. They literally it, it, come and eat the grass in and the a morning good vibe, eh? like, yeah you, great vibe so community. serene you'll love it so get out there into the green this is ellie signing off <laughs>
Hi, I'm Ellie from Gwang Gypsy. Don't mind me, I'm just cooking our dinner. We're here in Halls Gap today. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour with an audience of cockatoos. <laughs> Careful they don't steal your food. <laughs> in the evening, this whole area is usually filled with kangaroos. You can see some over there at the moment, eating the grass. Inside the ducks. <laughs> you can see there's a great little IGA over here, ice cream parlor, and what, what sort of little town would it be without a great fish and chip shop? IGA is a little bit expensive, but I mean, look at the backdrop you've got. The petrol's a little bit expensive, but it's the only place on the mountain. So, <laughs> um, public toilets, free water um, to fill up your water bottles when you're camping. Um, there's a camping store that uh, does hiking gear if anything breaks on you. And of course, it's beautiful here. It's so serene, uh, shady trees. <laughs> Cockatoos that peep on you and try to steal your food. <laughs> but I mean, it's awesome to have the chance to, to um, come and feed the kangaroos and be so close to all this wildlife. Um, it's one of my favourite places in Australia that we've been. Now I need to get back to making my dinner so Australia doesn't get too hangry. <laughs> See you next time. I'm doing steak with mushrooms, garlic butter, simple green salad with red onion and feta, and it's all keto. All done on the road, so simple. My trangi is a bit fucked up, but yeah, we can cut that out. Or not. <laughs> yep. I'll check in with you guys later. Oh my god! <laughs> Get to see lots of animals, kangaroos that'll rummage through your garbage if you don't leave it out at night. Get to see lots of birds at the water taps all, all times during the day. If you're traveling Australia, this is an absolute must-see area to come to. This is Ellie on a ride along with Ellie and Strat signing off.